Jackson Shepard. Except for having Brandon maybe and Calvin or, or one of those guys, we don't want to do that. But everything else, make it easier. So if you're not hedging, you're not switching, right? It's either hedge or we switch. Cool. We're not staying underneath and give up shots. All right, all right, let's go, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
quit. Right? The guys that came out and played, second half it off, you didn't quit. Right? Even, even in the last three, four minutes, you make substitution. Guys came in, they didn't quit. Junior came in and got his hand on two balls on, on two help side. Alright? Cost gets in transition. We didn't quit. But we gotta make sure that our communication, our concentration level has to be for the whole game, guys. Communication should be the only thing that should not be an issue. Should not be an issue. Score started a few times. Let's get back on defense. Get back on defense. Get back on defense. Get back on defense. If it's one time, it's okay, but not a repetitive thing. It's not a repetitive thing that you should be yelling in the bench to our guys. If there's a guy behind you. Right? Those are the little things that makes a big difference in, in games. But for the most part, I'm really proud that the guys didn't fold up and they didn't quit. And that's huge. That's huge. And I hope you guys can see the difference that when you guys start talking and, and making some switches a few times in the third quarter and also the fourth quarter, right, they never got nothing out of it. They got bad shot up, we got rebound, turnovers happen. But every time we laugh, we don't say nothing to each other. You know what? It doesn't go our way. Right? We just gotta talk. And we just gotta learn from this. Right? You know, because like we stated, you know, you have to be here every year to understand what it's like to be here. This has to be a goal for our program to make sure we're here every year. But I'll go back and say it again, you know what? We didn't hammer heads, guys, we're down 23. We didn't fold up, we didn't quit. We kept playing. We kept playing. And to me, those are winners. That's a winning attitude. Whether we whether really come out, win the game, not quitting and keep fighting is a winning attitude. Winning attitude. And that's the culture we need to have around it. And that's the culture until, until the season ends. That's the culture you guys need to continue to have so that our younger guys that are here can adapt to that attitude. That winning never give up attitude. But I always believe that, you know what, there's always a chance you're always going to be in. That part, gentlemen, like I said, you know, it didn't go where we would go, but I'm proud of you guys for not quitting. I'm proud of you guys for not giving up. I'm proud of you guys for sticking with what we want to do. As you guys see, after the first quarter, we're down 20 points. And by early into the fourth, we shrunk that lead, which meant that from that first quarter, we had actually played very consistent basketball. And the one thing I said to Donald from that first quarter was, we weren't playing team basketball. We were five individual guys on the court. And the one thing that is so great about our team is when we can play so well together. You guys know where each other is, you know where to find each other and all the rest of it. So despite the fact that we didn't get the W the way that we wanted to today, nor yesterday, um, there's a lot of positive building blocks like Coach was saying. And you know, again, our foul shooting was something like 80% today. It was huge, uh, which made a huge, big difference. And of course, Brandon also. And even when you know Darren was in boxing out, putting bodies on people, it makes a big difference. Throwing people off their game. When we give people wide open looks, it's too comfortable. It's too easy as shooting, shooting practice. But anyway, we do have a game tonight, guys. This is determined now that rather than saying championship bracket, we move to a consolation bracket. But there's still a championship up for grabs in the consolation bracket. You guys now can determine whether this tournament's done for us. We have the possibility of three more games in this. So as much as we take the L right now, there's a lot of positives. And so we gotta carry that momentum into tonight. We have to take care of ourselves in the next few hours, you guys. This is a tough stretch. We have, you know, whatever, however many hours off between games. So, you know, gotta rest, gotta rehydrate, we gotta make sure we're eating. And I mean I, I still wanna walk out of here with the championship plan. So I hope you guys do too and and I hope you guys recognize what it is we need to do. Alright, bring it in guys. Don't hold your heads down low. You guys should have been with three quarters. Family on three. One, two, three, family. Then we go here, force close out, attack close out. Alright, let's go guys.
Guys. Basketball guys didn't want to smile on us today. I was just saying to the sports, it's like every time we catch a break, we're by the you know, we're by the rim, we miss a bunny, they come back, they hit a shot. You know? Miss a couple free throws, right? Game would have went a different way. That's where it goes sometimes. Right? So we always have to make sure that we don't take things for granted. We're in a position to make a basket, we gotta make a basket. Because we don't know we don't know what the outcome of the game is gonna be. When you get in the game, you gotta take your ball. Alright? Fortunately, you know, there's always winners and losers. And it sucks to be in the losing end. Definitely does. For sure. Right? But I hope you guys, you know, some of you guys, you know, in fact I hope all you guys can learn from this. You know, when you're in a position, don't take it for granted. Right? If you get a chance to make a make that layup. You know if you're gonna get another chance to make the next one again. You got that free throw at the line, take your time. I'm just forcing this in all year. You got 10 seconds. Alright? Well guys, we did, we did a lot of good things this year, man. I mean, we accomplished a lot this year. Definitely accomplished a lot this year. You know what? But I mean, like, not to get one year, you know, I mean, it sucks. Definitely sucks. But, you know, like we always say, you know, to be here, to know what it's like, to you know, to know how hard you gotta work, to know how hard that you know. I guarantee you, if you guys are in another position like this again, whether it's you know you're, we're back here or you know your university or college or whatever it is, you're gonna you're not you're not gonna make the best of it. Guarantee you, guarantee you. Right? But we made a lot of strides, guys. We made a lot of strides. You know, there's nothing hanging our heads about nothing at all. You know, you made it here. Top 18 teams in the province. Right? Good basketball weekend, you know? Could have went either way, most of the games. But like I said, the basketball guys, you know, they didn't smile on us this weekend, this week. Not at all. Not at all. Don't hang your hands, man. Not at all. 
How do you guys know about a basketball name? A lot. Right? You know, some of you guys just mean that, you know, your high school career, it just stops here. But you guys made the made a school proud. That's for sure. You know what? We may not we, not, we may not even get the W's that we want, but you guys represented the, the school proud. You know, you guys played hard. Right? From start to finish, all season. <coughs> you know what? Getting to also was a goal of ours. And regardless of how we got here, we got here. That's all that matters. You know, Ms. Force, I'll tell you guys all the time, there's thousands of players, thousands of players that play basketball that never, ever get an opportunity to say, you know, they played it, they went to Austin. Never. That's something that you guys can share for the rest of your life together. Win or lose, you know what? You went to Austin with this team. You guys got pictures, you guys got memories. That's facts. So don't hang your heads, man. Don't hang your heads. Don't hang your heads at all. Not at all. It might sound like a broken record, but you know, this is my seventh year coaching the senior boys basketball team, and I've never had the privilege of working with a group of young men like you guys. Despite the ups and downs, you guys are a very solid group of not only characters, but very skilled basketball players. And it has been my privilege working with you. Donald and I were just standing outside saying, the season flew by. The boys' season flew by. And that's always a good sign. That, that always says we enjoyed being here, we enjoyed what we were doing, we were having a good time. And I'll also always be the one that says ball is not life. And I hope that when you guys walk out of here, despite the fact that the games didn't go with the way that we wanted it to, that you can look back on your two years as a senior, your four years as, as a high school basketball player and take a lot of amazing memories and treasures from that. Because that too is a privilege to be able to represent your team, to be chosen among, God, we've had up to 60, 70 players try out for teams. To be able to experience what it is to be a tight band of brothers, whether or not you get along all the time. To know what it is to lift each other up when some people are down. Those are life lessons. Those are things I can speak from experience that turn you young men into men. You, I, I can guarantee that maybe not, maybe even tomorrow, there will be many times in your life where you will draw back in your memory bank and draw back on the experiences that you guys have shared. And not just shared, but that you guys have created. You know, we can coach, but you guys execute. And again, it's not just on the court. It's off the court. It's in the classroom. It's at practices. That takes some real commitment, a whole lot of determination. And if there's one thing that I'll always remember about you guys is there was absolutely no quit. Ever. Here and there the head might go down, but you guys put your heads right back up and went back out for it. But on the flip side, for some of us, ball, ball is a very important part of our lives. And if that's the case, the one thing I'm going to leave you with is don't ever settle. Maybe this chapter of your basketball life is, is over. It could be that, you know, you're in grade 12, you're graduating, and this is the end of your high school basketball career. But you haven't even reached your peak yet. Just sit, look back, reflect. You know, not long ago somebody said, I'm doing my best, do better. The minute you can say you're doing your best, elevate it. Do a little bit more, do better. It's a hard moment, but I hope you guys recognize your opportunities are infinite. They are endless if you allow yourselves to be open to those. I know what it's like to sit in your shoes, but I'm just going to finish off just by saying I'm super proud of you guys, and I hope that once this thing goes away, you guys are proud of you guys too. You had a very determined goal this year, and you guys achieved it. You guys pulled something off that by eliminating MT that hasn't happened in close to 12 years, maybe 13. Eliminating it? From, from getting over to OFSA. Never did. Yeah. Never did. Ever, ever? 
Not to get into Afsan. You, you guys won last one. Yeah, yeah. It was the first time a senior program ever beat MT. Yeah. And to eliminate one of the playoffs, that was never, ever been done. Never in the 20 some years of hope. It's never been done. From the perspective of coaches, obviously, we're very proud, but I can speak from the perspective of our athletic program as a whole. And I can't say that in the past we've always been able to look up to our senior boys basketball team, but I've watched the juniors this year look up to you guys and want to be like you guys. Talking about offset and talking about, oh, did you see this person's move? Did you see that? And knowing how you guys represent all of us when you're wearing that jersey and when you're in the hallways at school, those guys want to be you. And that says a lot about you guys, is that you guys have proven time and again on the court and off the court that you're people to be looked up to. So even if this is the end of what you do with basketball, I hope that you take all of the gifts and talents that you guys have and continue to share them with other people, continue to motivate other people and carry them along for the ride because you guys held a rope. And I'm going to challenge you to continue to do that in everything that you do is to take that same fight and that same drive and to hold that rope in everything that you do. Because you did such a good job of that this year. And yeah, this moment sucks, but you will, I promise, you will be able to look back on this and you'll be able to smile and laugh and have all the positives because you guys did great, great things. And don't let this moment or this two days take away from all the great things that you've done over the last four years. Because we are very proud of you. From an, ex from an experience point, you know, I mean, you know, me and Joe, we always talk all the time, you know, it's McLean that, you know, as, as far as we came this year, you know, one of the good things that we have, you know, we got a, we got about five guys here that, that's going to be wearing these uniforms next year, right? You know, Andre, you know, Gabe, Darren, you know, Junior Maurice, you know, and so on. I mean, the experience that you guys got this year, you know, with our seniors, you guys must know how hard it is to get here. How much harder you, much work that you guys have to put in. How much example you guys have to make for the younger guys coming up. Right? That there's never, never taking anything for granted. There's never no time off for anything. Right? You know, and I credit the senior guys for, you know, giving you guys this experience. You know, leading, leading the charge and getting us to this point. Where you guys, you know, if you ever never come back here again, you know, at least in, 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 your, in your time in life, you can say, you know, you came here. And you can tell guys how hard it is to get here. And you can tell guys when you get here how hard it is to play and how, how, and how hard it is to get a win. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Right? So, for, you know, from an experience point, you know, you know our program's going to be doing well. And, and it's guys like, you know, that, are, that, that left, like, you know, and even guys that are like before, like TJ, Kumar, Nikas, before those guys. Now we get guys Quasi, Brandon, John, Arish, you know, Jasper, Jay. we get guys like that, you know, who, who lift the program and continue to build the program. And you guys are the reason why there's so much kids coming to the school. Mm -hmm. You guys are the reason why there's so much kids wanting to transfer to come to the program. Because the program that we're trying to build. So all year, you know, we give guys flack and, you know, we headbutt with guys. It's the simple fact that we're trying to build a program here. So, you know, years from now, you guys come in, you guys, you know, hey, I was a part of that. Team 2014, 2015, we went to Austin too. I was part of that program, right? So even for the juniors, you know, to even get to the championship game and the seniors to the championship, that says a huge, huge lot, huge lot. Some of you guys are there at, uh, with registration. I heard there's about almost 300 kids coming to the school next year. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's because on the sports side, especially the basketball side, you guys are part of building that program, right? So don't forget that. That whatever happened moving forward from here, anything that happens positive, you guys are responsible for that. You guys are the reason why that happened. Or you guys are the reason why people are talking at Pope and to Afsa. You guys. All right, so regardless of anything pan out, you guys did a lot for our school this year. You guys did a lot for the school this year. On a basketball point of view, a lot. And especially for the program. I know it's all, that was, that's what it's always going to be about. That's what it would always be, be ever about. Just the program. Not about us, not about you guys, just the program. It's trying to build something solid there. And then it takes the camera. Um, you guys had a good season. You guys played well. Our goal was to make two offs, and we did. Although the outcome wasn't what we really wanted, um, we stuck together as a brotherhood, and I'm glad to be part of that. Me and uh, manager JF, I thank the coaches for putting me on too. Um, mm -hmm. No problem.
Manager JF? Um, One second, we gotta get the right angle. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you to you guys, cause like, I've been watching this program for years, and never have I actually seen them go to AFSA, even though I watch AFSA like religiously. And you guys actually made this come true. So I mean, this isn't the last part of basketball for all of you guys. A lot of you guys are gonna go to university, go to college, oh, yeah. you guys are just gonna bust, off, bust ass on that team. Like, it doesn't make a difference. This could be the last time you play for Pope, but it will not be the last time you play basketball. Just remember that. There's always a part two. All right, guys, bring it in one last time. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Hold on, Mikhail. No way, you're not going to have to go. Family on three. One, two, three, family. Okay, tons of um, chocolate milk there. Oh, I think there's a chance next to you. No, no defense.